What's going on guys? Jacob Worth back here with another video of Jacob's Life in Vegas. I'm going to give you guys a Las Vegas real estate update. So I want to give you guys an update for this area here in Southern Nevada. There's been a lot of activity going on in the real estate market, uh, whether it's here in Las Vegas or North Las Vegas or Henderson or whatever the case is. Um, you know, I'm coming with you guys with another video. I do these every so often to give you guys an update of how things are looking here uh, for our local real estate market and those of you looking to either buy a home or maybe sell a home or uh, you know whatever position you're in. And um, this year has been an interesting one so far, I must admit. Um, because you guys have been following me for, I remember a couple years ago, I was talking about the market and how it was just trying to get stable and how that was pretty important. Uh, just a few years before that, the market was really suffering. And now, as you guys can see behind me, you know, you got some homes being built here in this area. And they've been being, then these homes have been built really ever since last year. I've seen them start to pop up around the area more, more and more homes being built. And really, is since about last year that we've seen prices, like the median home price here in this area, continue to go up. Uh, if you guys remember, going into 2016, that was a year that a lot of people, you know, I had talked to in this area, and it was kind of a common consensus, that, especially since it was an election year, that, you know, real estate usually stays kind of stagnant during an election year because people want to see, want to wait and see who the president's going to be. Uh, that didn't really end up being the case here. Actually, home prices, the median home value went up a good amount last year in 2016 and they're continuing to go up this year so we're looking here at about the mid-year mark um, you know I got numbers from May of 2017 and you look at it and the uh, median home price you know back in May was probably around um, you know two hundred fifty thousand dollars is what we're looking at here in the Las Vegas area and that's a big jump from last year because last year um, it's about 12% or so higher this May than it was in May just a year ago. I mean, that's a pretty sizable jump. And we have had the median home price increase in this area so far every single month. So about seven months in a row, every single month going back to December 2016. So we started the year out at about $230,000 was the median home price here in the Las Vegas area. And if this trend continues, I've heard people say, you know, they expect it by the end of the year to go to about $275,000 for the median home price, to eighty. dollars some even say up to two ninety. dollars it just kind of depends on how things keep going. So, you know, we've seen a lot of growth here, and for the fact, or I should say, for the possibility that homes could be, you know, 275, 280, 290 for the median price by the end of the year, considering we started at about $230,000 for the median home price in this area, that is huge in one year. So the growth is coming, the growth keeps going and more homes are being put up. One thing we are facing though, compared to you know just about a year or so ago, is a lot lower inventory, because we have more people coming in and just buying these homes. And cash sales are on the rise too, which is another factor to consider. So you have cash buyers coming in, and you know picking up a lot of these homes, which makes it hard for people you're know, getting a traditional mortgage um, to come in and buy a home. So really what you're in right now is you're seeing a seller's market, okay? The prices keep going up, and you know people who have had homes for a while, their equity's gone, gone up in their home. So you have people that are, you know, they're looking to sell, it's gone like that. I mean, the home is gone pretty quickly. So if you're like a buyer looking to try to buy, you know, you don't have a lot of time to kind of like, you know, dilly dally, you don't have a lot of time to play around to look at like 20 different homes to try to, you know, nitpick the one you like. You know, years ago when the market was down, you could have done that. Or even, you know, a few years ago when the market was just trying to get stable, you could have done that. But right now, the market is hot here. The market has continued to do well in terms of the prices continuing to go up. So, you know, the, sh the power has shifted into being in the hands of the sellers because the sellers, you know, they've got the equity in their home. They know people are looking to buy. And if they want to sell their home, they can sell it quickly and they can close quickly. So it's buyers really that, you know, if they like a home, or they see something that they think is, um, you know, they really might like a bit, then it's, you know, usually they just need to put in an offer and try to, you know, get their hat, throw their hat out there, so to speak, because if they don't, someone else is going to come in and buy it quickly. It may be someone who you know, tries to use a mortgage, or maybe somebody comes in with cash and just write, you know, if they got cash, they're willing to just come in, buy it, sell it, you have to take cash right then and there, you know, instead of having to deal with, um, you know, the uh, process of having to do a go through someone who's getting a loan. I mean, cash is so much easier and so much quicker for a buy. So in this inventory, excuse me, in this area in Southern Nevada, we've seen inventory actually go down for I think the last seven months or so in a row. So inventory's getting low. I mean, homes are still being built, of course, but we're getting, you know, our inventory is lower than it's been in the last, like I said, six, seven months. But homes are still being built, and then the market continues to go up, prices continue to go up, and they're building all over the area. So, I mean, whether you're out, like, you know, in the southwest part of town, you're out in Henderson, you're out in North Las Vegas, you're building new um, communities out there, out in Summerlin, there's more. I mean, there's growth taking place all over the Las Vegas metropolitan area. So, I mean, you can expect, you know, see the median home price probably continue to go up here uh, to the end of the year or so. 
And you know, then we'll see what you know 2018 holds for the real estate market. But I mean, you know, you're going to see prices continue to rise here in the Vegas area. That's what it looks like, at least for the immediate future until the end of the year. So you know, it's a seller's market right now. If you're buying, it can still be a good time to buy because you know the people don't. Generally speaking, a lot of people out here, they don't seem to expect the real estate market to go down for a couple more years. Of course, that's always anyone's best guess what will happen. Um, you know, people think that it's going to keep going for a little while. Some people think that, you know, the Oakland Raiders moving here to Las Vegas, you know, that's going to help extend the real estate market's growth here. So, you know, that's something else you could factor in. But, you know, it seems like at least for the immediate future, the real estate is going to continue to go up. So if you're a seller you're looking to sell a home, you're in a pretty good position. If you're a buyer looking to buy, you know, you have to make offers and you, you know, don't have a lot of time to mess around, but you, you could buy it and, you know, chances are you'll have equity in your home like in the near future just because the prices keep going up around this area. So if any of you guys are looking to buy a home in this area right now, there's always a uh, link down below in these videos you can go to. It's a direct link that'll go right to my website. You can fill out the form. If you're serious about buying a home, you can help put you in touch with a realtor. Someone can help guide you through that process. So whether you want to buy in Vegas, in North Vegas, in Henderson, or you know, even one of the smaller towns kind of outside the area, that's fine. I can help you with that. So link down below if you need help with a realtor, help you purchase a home in the Las Vegas area. That's it for this video, guys. I'm Jacob. This is My Life in Vegas.